What's up you guys, it's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I am installing a ceiling light in a bedroom that's never had a ceiling light in the middle of the room. This is the type of construction where they used a light switch that controlled the top outlet on all the outlets around the room. So then you can install a lamp and that's how they controlled uh, the overall lighting in the room. But I want to update everything and get a ceiling light. So I'm putting all the outlets back to just be powered. So the top portion is always powered, not controlled off the light switch. And to do that, I really need to trace down the wires and make sure I know uh, where all the different wires are going so I get the electrical circuit configured to this new use case. To do that, it's pretty easy. What I use is a multimeter, and this multimeter has the resistance setting that you're going to need where you'll see it has what looks like a small horseshoe. That's actually indication of ohms, which is the unit of measure for resistance. In addition to the multimeter, it's nice to have some extra wire. You don't have to have a single strand of wire. You could also use, let's say, Romex if that's what you're using for uh, your job. And then also handy, not necessary, but it will help you out is these little lever wire nuts. And those are nice because you can stick the wire in one side and close the lever and then stick the multimeter probe on the other side and close the lever, and then you can reuse these. So I always carry a few of these with me if I had to do a continuity check like we're gonna do today. If you don't know what these are and you haven't seen them, just look down in the description. You'll see the link to these type of lever nuts and then also the multimeter that I was using. So let's jump in. I'll show you an application of using the continuity check to trace down your wires. Okay, so for my use case, you can see that I have three different yellow wires, which were actually the hot side that went to the top of that outlet, and that's what was switching the top side of the outlet. But I want to know which one of these yellow wires goes over to that outlet. So here's where the extra cable comes in handy, because I have now at this outlet, I have what I believe to be the yellow wire going over there into one of these lever nuts. And then my black extension wire all coiled up here. And then that end of the extension wire, that's where that lever nut comes in handy, right? Because you can just put the probe and the wire within there, close those down, and then they'll secure them together. So you can use the negative or positive side, black or red side, it doesn't matter. So we'll take the multimeter and the extension wire, and then that's what really extends us over to this outlet. So now we can get the extension we need to do a continuity check. So let me set up the camera and I'll show you doing that check right here. Okay, so now we'll take our multimeter and there are different styles and a little different configurations, but as long as you have the resistance setting. We'll switch it over to resistance. You'll see the horseshoe looking thing or the ohms come up. And then you do want to make sure that the audible alarm is on. So here it's off. There it's on. Now you can do a check real quick. And that is just by connecting these two together. So you know your audible alarm is on and working. All right, so now to check these, we have our extension wire going over to the other outlet, and basically I wanna see which of these three wires is connecting over to that outlet. So all you have to do is just check. All right, that's our candidate. And then I use painter's tape, then you can Sharpie and mark those. But that's it. This is how you start tracking down all your different wires. All right, so hopefully that helped you out on your project. I have a little bit more work to do on mine here to get that light installed. But let me know in the comments if you, if you have any questions uh, that I can help with. Also, to get the multimeter and the lever nuts that I use, just look down in the description. You'll see the link there. And before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have videos like this coming out on a weekly basis to help you around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.